Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to upload and replace a file using Google Drive's API in Python. Before I go into the tutorial, make sure that you enable the Google Drive service in the Cloud Console, and as well as download the google.py source code in the link description. Now open a blank Python script, and I name my file demo.py. For this Python program, I'm going to input the libraries first. Here, let me increase the font. From Google API client.http, I want to import the media file upload class. Next, from the google.py module, I'm going to import the create service function. Now let's provide the information we need to create the Google Drive API service instant. We need to provide the client file. I'm going to name the constant client secret file. And the file is going to be coming from the client hyphen secret.json. Next, I'm going to provide the API name that I want to uh, access. And for Google Drive, the API name is going to be drive, followed by the API version. I also need to provide the scopes. And to access Drive's API, I'm going to use the Drive scope. And the scope value is going to be https www.googleapis.com slash auth slash drive. Now I can construct my Google Drive service instance. And now insert the create service function. Inside the function, I'm going to provide my client secret file, API name, API version, here, let me expand the window. And the scopes. I'm going to start by showing you how to upload a file first. Now let's take a look at the file that I want to upload. I'm going to upload this file, coffee.png. I'm going to grab the file name. Next, I want to create a dictionary. And this dictionary is going to contain the uh, file metadata. And I'll name the dictionary file underscore metadata. If we go to Google Drive's documentation, and under the reference page, I want to go to create. And I'm going to uh, scroll down all the way to, let's see, to uh, request body section. All right, so these are all the metadata uh, properties we can assign to our file. So since like uh, file name, uh, sometimes when we rename the file, we can actually retain the original file name. In parents are the folders we want to upload the file to. And to keep things simple, I'm simply going to provide the file name. Now let's say I don't want to use the original file name. I want to rename my file as let's do drink. .png. And it's going to be the name of the file once I upload the uh, coffee.png file. Next, I want to upload the file to a specific folder. Let's use this one, test folder. In the URL, I'm going to copy the folder's ID. And in the file metadata addition, I'm going to assign appearance with a list object followed by the uh, folder ID. And we can assign multiple parent IDs, not just one. And those are the metadata information I'm going to provide when I upload my file. Now I need to convert the file into a format that Google Drive's API will accept. And to convert the file, we need to use the media file upload class. And we need to insert the file path. And it's going to be coffee.png, followed by the file mic type. And the parameter name is going to be mic type. And for PNG file, the my type is going to be image slash PNG. And I'll name the object as media content. And to upload a file, I'm going to insert the service object dot files dot create dot execute. Inside the create method, we need to provide the 
metadata object to the body parameter. Next, we need to upload the uh, file content. And it's going to be media body. I'll name the file opus file. And I want to print the file object once the file is uploaded to my Google Drive. Now I'm going to run the script. And here, let's see. Oh, let me activate my environment. Right, so the file is getting uploaded and it's asking me to authenticate my account. So I'm going to choose my account. And I'm going to click on events. Then click on this link to proceed. Now I'm going to grant permission to this Python program. Right, so here's saying that service is not defined. Oh, this should be service, not drive. Now let me try again. Now my file is uploaded to my drive. So here's the uh, file ID, followed by the file name, my type. Now if I go back to my test folder, and here's the uh, coffee.png file. And I renamed the file to drink.png. Unlike the files on our PC, when we try to copy paste a file with the same name, our computer is going to ask us, do we want to replace the existing file? In Google Drive, the file name is actually not unique. We can upload multiple files with the same file name. So for example, if I try to upload the same file again, you will simply upload the same file with the same file name. So what happens if I want to replace the existing file with a different image? So let's say I want to uh, replace the file with this uh, mp4.png file. So it's going to be replace existing file. Um, Google Drive. We can identify the file by referencing the file ID. And here's the file ID from the file that I just uploaded. And here let's create a variable called file ID. And I'm going to come out, uh, let's, let's do this code block. And I'll copy uh, this line right here. And I want to change the file to mp4.png. Oh, I also need the metadata uh, dictionary. If we want to replace an existing file, we need to use the file update method. So let me insert the service object dot files dot Update. That's secure. And the only thing we need to provide is the file ID. And I don't need the metadata, so let me remove this code block. Then we need to replace the current existing content. Now I'm going to run the script. Right, so if I go back to my drive, and here's the uh, drink.png file, that is replaced with the mp4.png file. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.